In July 2017, PetroVietnam had to force its partner, Repsol SA, to stop conducting oil exploration and drilling operations in the South China Sea. In March of the following year, Spain received a second order from Vietnam. Because PetroVietnam violated the cooperation treaty with Spain, it paid the price of billions of dollars in compensation. The reason why Vietnam made such a decision is that at least 40 Chinese ships have gathered off the coast of Hainan Island, preparing to prevent Vietnam and Spain from continuing oil field drilling operations. It turned out that Vietnam and its partners were stealing oil from the South China Sea. Vietnam was afraid of escalating the dispute with China, so it made this decision under pressure. Therefore, not only Vietnam has suffered a big loss, but the United States, the mastermind behind it, has also suffered a loss. So, why did Vietnam steal oil from the South China Sea? Why did the United States also suffer losses? What countermeasures has China taken? Today, let's take a look at the long South China Sea oil battle between China and Vietnam. The South China Sea, together with the Persian Gulf, the North Sea, and the Gulf of Mexico, is known as the world's four largest submarine oil storage areas, and it is also China's largest offshore oil and gas storage area. As early as 1979, China signed agreements with more than 40 companies from more than 10 countries including the United States, the United Kingdom, and France to conduct geophysical exploration in the South China Sea. Since China's oil and gas exploration technology and exploitation technology were still very backward at that time, it had to cooperate with Western developed countries to drill out these resources from the seabed. After expert research, it is estimated that there are at least 250 oil and gas fields on the seabed of the South China Sea, with potential reserves of at least 29.19 billion tons of oil and at least 58 trillion cubic meters of natural gas, totaling more than 70 billion tons of oil and gas. These oil and gas resources in the South China Sea have greatly promoted the development of new China's industrial technology and greatly improved people's living standards. Looking at the rich resources in the South China Sea, some surrounding Southeast Asian countries are also envious. The most typical example is Vietnam. As early as 1973, when Vietnam had not yet been unified, the PetroVietnam invited 27 Western oil companies to participate in the bidding for the offshore oil exploration in South Vietnam. One of the areas for bidding happened to invade part of the South China Sea. In the second year, because of the dispute over the sovereignty of the South China Sea, China and South Vietnam broke out in the Battle of the Parasol Islands. Although China won this battle and regained the three islands including Coral Island occupied by South Vietnam, Vietnam's ambition to seize resources in the South China Sea is still alive. After the reunification of Vietnam, it reached a cooperation agreement with Japan to develop oil and gas resources in the South China Sea. As of 2010, PetroVietnam has signed more than 60 oil and gas exploration and development contracts in the South China Sea with oil companies from major European and American countries. Although China also signed cooperation agreements with many European and American countries at that time, Vietnam sacrificed part of its interests, giving up to 80% of its profits to foreign companies, and robbed many of China's partners at once. The reason why Vietnam is willing to do this kind of loss-making business is because most of the oil fields it involves in the development are located in the South China Sea. In other words, most of the oil and gas resources are stolen from China. Relying on the full support of Western countries, Vietnam's annual oil production has reached tens of thousands of tons. From a small backward country with scarce resources, it has become a big producer of offshore oil. According to statistics, 8 million tons of Vietnam's annual output of tens of millions of oil and gas are stolen from China. In 2008, more than 100 million tons of oil and 1.5 trillion cubic meters of natural gas were stolen from Nanshu alone. The market valuation of these oil and gas resources is more than 25 billion US dollars. Vietnam is one of the poorest countries in Southeast Asia, 
with a per capita GDP of only US$190 in 1994. Extraction of oil from the South China Sea has become Vietnam's largest economic pillar, accounting for 30% of Vietnam's gross national product. The annual GDP is growing steadily at a rate of 7%, and it has also earned a large amount of foreign exchange. In addition to the drive of interests, there is an important reason that European and American countries support Vietnam behind the scenes. And the biggest behind-the-scenes driver is the superpower the United States. In September 1958, China announced that the width of its territorial sea was 12 nautical miles. However, taking advantage of its geographical advantage of being closer to the islands in the South China Sea, Vietnam successively occupied some islands of the Spratly Islands from July 1974 to February of the following year and stationed troops there. Not long after, Vietnam directly marked the Spratly Islands as Vietnamese territory on the map of Vietnam. Since then, Vietnam has continued to expand and occupy China's uninhabited sandbars and reefs. It has invaded and stationed 29 islands and reefs in the South China Sea with 2,000 troops stationed there. By the way, the United States gave Vietnam strong military support. After 1995, the United States legalized arms sales to Vietnam on the grounds of helping Vietnam ensure maritime security. After the new century, the United States has provided more and more military assistance to Vietnam. Vietnam's military expenditure has increased by 128%. The defense budget in 2014 alone was as high as 4.3 billion US dollars, almost all of which were spent on territorial issues with China. In addition to a large amount of military spending and weapons such as missiles, the United States also provided Vietnam with six patrol ships. Of course, there is another important reason for this, and it is also because of China's South China Sea foreign policy of seeking peace and stability. In 1994, when a Chinese survey ship entered the WAN and North 21 area in Nanshou, it was attacked and besieged by several Vietnamese gunboats without warning. Afterwards, the Vietnamese news media made a lot of publicity, saying that an US company and China National Offshore Oil Corporation had signed a contract that infringed Vietnam's sovereignty and demanded that China must immediately abolish the contract. The fact is that China has developed 25,000 square kilometers of sea area within its own territory. Faced with this sudden change, China immediately dispatched a survey ship to confront it in the South China Sea. However, China's strength at sea was still very weak at that time. After three days and three nights of confrontation at sea, the Chinese exploration ship quietly withdrew in the dark. However, after this retreat, Chinese oil exploration ships did not appear in the waters near the Spratly Islands for the next 20 years. China's concessions made Vietnam even more rampant, and began to steal oil and gas resources in the South China Sea brazenly in areas such as the Spratly Islands. In August 2008, Vietnam and ExxonMobil of the United States believed that China was hosting the Beijing Olympics and would not take tough action on the South China Sea issue at this time so they reached an agreement on joint oil and gas development in the South China Sea. Facing the aggressiveness of the United States and Vietnam, China finally no longer tolerated it and chose to show its sword to the enemy. In fact, China has endured humiliation for many years, just to deploy drilling platforms in disputed waters. In 2008, China National Offshore Oil Corporation fully invested in the construction of Offshore Oil 981 after integrating world-class equipment and design concepts. This is the first six-generation deepwater semi-submersible drilling platform independently designed and built in China. Haiyang Shuyu 981 costs 6 billion yuan, and can carry out exploration and drilling operations at a depth of 3,000 meters on the seabed and the maximum drilling depth can reach 10,000 meters. This indicates that China already has the strength to compete with developed countries in the field of marine resource development. In 2012, Haiyang Shuyu 981 officially started drilling in the Shisha Islands and other areas in the South China Sea. As mentioned above, 
Vietnam relies on the help of European and American countries to steal China's oil and gas resources to survive. But now that China has the world's most advanced drilling technology and equipment, it can exploit more resources in the deep sea, which greatly threatens Vietnam's status as a big oil producer. Moreover, most of Vietnam's oil fields are located in China's waters. Once they are exploited by China, Vietnam will not be able to get anything. In order to disrupt the drilling activities of Haiyang Shiyu 981 in the South China Sea, Vietnam actually dispatched a large number of ships including armed ships to forcibly interfere. In addition, Vietnam also sent frogmen to lurk underwater, laying out a large number of fishing nets and throwing garbage to form obstacles to prevent Chinese operations. In less than two months, Vietnam has collided with Chinese ships more than 1,700 times. But this time China did not give in. The Chinese escort ship unceremoniously rammed the Vietnamese ship and fired water cannons to counter the Vietnamese ship. In order to protect China's maritime sovereignty and drive away all these oil thieves at sea, China has set up a maritime patrol team to force all companies that exploit oil in the South China Sea to stop their operations with force and deterrence. So, the scene at the beginning of the article appeared. The Spanish National Oil Company has a relatively large scale of business in the South China Sea, and there are 13 offshore blocks waiting to be exploited. This directly caused the company to lose nearly 1 billion US dollars. So Spain, together with other implicated countries, went to Vietnam to demand liquidated damages. Vietnam has already tasted the strength of the Chinese Navy and can only pay Spain and the United Arab Emirates 7 billion US dollars in liquidated damages with tears. In fact, if you want to count other countries, it is far more than this number. Okay, that's all for today. Please put your comments below, and share your insightful ideas with other people. Your precious time with us is highly appreciated. See you.